and today we are back again with another amazing development tour. I'm joined by Ben from Inicio Homes. Now, right now, we're on tight, tight deadlines. We have just under two months to finish these eight units. Four have been sold, there's four left to still exchange, but it has to be done by end of July to make sure they meet the end of the help to buy scheme. So we're in South Norwood and this is Mavis House. So Ben, tell us about the property. Um, so it was a detached four bedroom house before. Um, we went through planning, knocked it down, and now we've got eight new, bed, uh, new build apartments. Uh, and what's the makeup of those apartments? Uh, we've got three three beds and five one beds. And in terms of your planning, did you go straight in for eight or was there an initial scheme? No, there was eight. We went for a pre-application mm -hmm. um, for the eight and yeah, went straight in for the eight as well and managed to get it first time. That's good. Well, it looks looks really nice externally. Um, do you know what these bricks are called? What type of finish they are? Uh, they're called Mystique, I believe. I don't know what they're, the manufacturer are, but okay. Yeah, no, but they're a nice brick, like, you know, they, it matches well with the K render, then the, um, you know, the Antrophite windows. It all looks really nice. We can see how it looks inside. Okay. Sure. So ground floor, one one bed, one three bed. You've got your riser covered on the right hand side. You've got a lift. Yeah. I mean, for a lot of people, a lift is like big business. Do you mind me asking how much was the lift? How much did it cost? It worked out about 35k. Uh, okay, yeah, it's not a it's not a, it's a passenger lift mm -hmm. or a disabled passenger lift mm -hmm. rather than a full spec. Uh, lift. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fair, fair. But still more reasonable and more, you know, affordable than I think a lot of people would think. Uh, yeah. Let's see the one bed. You say yeah. 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 It's still got a little bit to do in here. It's a, it's a bit of a mess, but um, there's not that much to be done. Yeah. Although it looks like it. I think that's the thing. A lot of the time, particularly for a big project like this, it kind of all comes together at the end, and it's a big rush. But the reality is, floors are in, skirtings are in, doors, iron mongery, kitchens, you know, sort of 80% there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all the double glazing's in, second fix electrics. Um, your, we don't see any radios, so what's going on heating wise? All underfloor heating. Throughout the whole throughout building? The, yeah, throughout all the flats. Nice. Space saving, Space -saving which is good. Nice, nice, nice. So we're now in another of the one bedroom flats, very similar to the flat on the ground floor, but I like this one because you know you can actually see directly out onto the communal garden and then you've also got the access to amenity space directly. Now I know you mentioned the pre-planning initially, did amenity space come up as part of that report? Yeah, it was a big, a big issue to, to make sure we ticked off. And what about, I also saw you retain this really nice tree and greenery. Was that something they wanted or you know you just thought it would look nice? Yeah, they, they did want us to keep it, but also um, that was planted by the previous owners about 45 years ago. Can I actually tell you something? So ironically, you know, it's a small world. And I remember when I first came down to this site just to visit and I think I put it on my story. And um, I think a lady mentioned that she messaged me and said, oh, like her mum drove past and she was like, oh, she actually used to live in the property. And she was like, oh, she was a little bit sad that she saw oh, it's being converted into flats. Mm -hmm. But then she actually turned out and she found out the name of the building mm -hmm. and the name of the building is Mavis House. And that was actually our mother's name. So then she was like, wow, this is just like, this must be a coincidence. It was almost like meant to be because yeah. you named it. Who's Mavis? Yeah, after my grandma. So, so that's yeah. nice. so sometimes these things go full circles. So that's, that's an amazing little interesting story that came out of the back of this development. Um, let's go and see some more of the flats. So am I right in saying this is one of your favourite flats? Yeah, I would say so. So this is the split level three bed top, what you call like the penthouse of the property. Yeah, for sure. So what, uh, what did you sell this one for, if you don't mind me asking? This one for 535. And I think that's the comparable thing about conversions because you built the, bought the building for how much? 965. So this one is, you know, over 50%, just the one unit of the eight is still over 50% of the purchase price. Let's go have a little look around. So this is bedroom number one. Bedroom number two, all of them are going to be really nice plush carpet. Um, got storage, family bathroom, and then bedroom number three, that's also got direct access out to a private balcony. Up the stairs, another private balcony for the flat, living room, and then a like open plan kitchen diner. I think we said, what is it, glass balustrade going in there? Yes. How, how long you reckon? What's your ETA for your glass balustrade? I've actually put the order in today, so okay. I'm hoping, yeah, seven, 
Seven to ten days, it said. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Yeah. It's not too bad. Nice race is nice. I think one of the most kind of inspirational things for me visiting this build is the fact that, you know, you had some really tight deadlines. The economic climate isn't what it once was. End of sort of help to buy, but you were able to combat that with pre-planning. And that was by doing your CGI's before, selling them all off plan, which means you are going to meet those deadlines. Um, we spoke about the value for this flat, but what do you think, you know, the total you're hoping to sell all of the properties for is going to be? Should be. 3.25 million. So 3.25 million is your total GDP. Your purchase price was 900 and what? 65. 965. 965. And what about your stamp duty? Uh, stamp duty was about 30k. 30k? Because it was dilapidated. So, um, so you've got to save it. Yeah. Up. And yeah, so there's a lot of things that people can save money on if you take the time to do the research to work out where discounts are applicable. Mm -hmm. And then what about your total bill cost? Um, I haven't got to the end number, but it's going to be about 1.25. And I think initially you, I think initially you was hoping for about 1.15. Yeah, that's it. So you're still within that 10% tolerance of, you know, the just in case fund. And with the thing, everything that happened with material price, I think that's still, you know, really commendable. Um, lastly, cost of finance? Uh, about 150K is gonna work out. Okay, which is again, really reasonable. Yeah. So all in, what's your kind of, what are you hoping, if everything goes to plan over the next sort of few months, what are you hoping for sort of profit figures from this deal? Uh, I think it's about eight and a half, stuff like that. Okay, like, which is you know, really good. And time frame wise, you know, from first purchase to sort of completion, what are we looking at? It's probably going to be 24 months in total, because I bought it in March 2021. Okay, nice. So, so I mean, yeah. all in all, when you look at those numbers, I think you've really hit every nail on the head on deliverables when it comes to how long it took you to get planning, when it comes to your cost of finance, when it comes to the actual build itself. I think it's been really reasonable and the exit and I think that's just a testament to you actually doing the research obviously this isn't your first project understanding what it is you need to do and I think unlike a lot of people that kind of sell property as ah, get rich get rich quick or you know like passive income I know like I drive fast I see you here day in day out project managing and making sure that you achieve what you wanted to from the outset so I think it's really good we're excited to see what you're going to do next um, again, this has been another development tour by myself, Kaz from Property by Kazi. I know that you're looking for new sites, so where can people reach out to you if they've got an opportunity for you? Well, yeah, Instagram's probably the best place, mm -hmm. in this your homes. Um, but yeah, we've got a few things in the pipeline, so... I mean, been. we're going to make sure that all of his details are in the description if you want to connect with us or any of the other developers that have been involved in this channel thus far. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time for another amazing video. Thank you.